times out of ten, I don't stand a chance of getting the child back out because the child won't talk to me. So you need a parent to encourage the child right. to just have at least have a conversation. At least you. have a conversation. All right, but I, I've always said pre preventative actions to me is more valuable. Oh, absolutely. Than, uh, um, absolutely. How, how, what, what kind of uh, preventative action can we take now? To, uh, people listen to this program, Fred, and they're saying, what? I never knew these things. I didn't think it was such of a problem. But now that you're talking about it, it, it is. So what, what preventative action can we as Christian ministers do, firstly? And second question is the parent. Number one, education. Bottom line is educate. They need to know what these different groups stand for. And, and when we need to advise the children when they, if they're going to join any organization or any group in the college, what they should do is, is check that organization out, check the sponsor, who's behind it, who's, mm -hmm. who's the one. I have a crazy suggestion on that, and, and I, I generally tell the parents to tell the child to check with the security police, not with the guidance counselor, check with the security police. It works better. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Right. Okay. The security police will give you the statistics on it. The counselor is not allowed to because it's a religion. Is that right? That's right. But the security cops will tell you, yeah, that's a, that's a group we're having a problem with. There's something that always interests me with the cops. Who determine, or how do you determine uh, what is an occult against what is a, 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 a normal run of the road Christian organization? How, what do you look for? Well, I have a math test for, for a cult, and actually we're not going to have too much time to do that today. Okay. But basically, do they, do they add to the word of God? Or do they do they add to God's word in the Bible, or do they and subtract? Revelation it? says you're not supposed to add. Well, and right. are you supposed to subtract in the last well, two the chapters next, of Revelation? Next one is do they subtract from the deity of God? And and if that's the case, the if answer that's the is case, yes. Right. Then you become a cult. Do they multiply the need for qualifications for salvation? Hmm. And and in most cults, or, it requires works. I have something that has always been um, concerning me. I know the answer uh, not long ago, but I want to know what's the difference between an occult and a cult? Is there a difference here? The, the occult is, is more, more uh, the witchcraft. Uh, the, that's the occult? That's the occult. Okay. Communicating with the dead, and, the psychics, and that kind of oh, that's the cult. And then the cult is just the cult is more basically basically the, the Christian word. Well, it's you got a UFO cult. You also got UFO cults. You also got a variety of those. But and, they don't believe in Jesus. UFO no, cults. No, no. Okay, so there. Some yes. of them, some of them, many, many of the larger cults actually uh, believe that we are aliens from another planet. Okay, Fred, it's been interesting having you here. You will be stay with us for the the continue the. Um, the duration of the year because we're going to be doing several of these programs and I, I really would love if you make sure you give me your answer now everyone is watching to whether you will be back here and, uh, and, and run well, you, you're this sponsoring massive it and, problems and, and, and that I'm, we have. I'll be proud to do it Tony. okay Fred can you give us your, um, your the phone number and email once again our phone number is 631-395-4646 uh, our email is TLEM at juno.com. My webpage is, is tlem.net or .org. Okay, well, we thank you once again for listening. It's been an interesting program talking to the Dr. Reverend Miller here, and uh, I'm going to ask him to say a quick prayer uh, for ending the session today. Our dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for the opportunity to, to witness to people. We thank you for the opportunity to reach out. We ask that your Holy Spirit guide us and direct us. Dear Heavenly Father, we also ask that your Holy Spirit reaches out and helps those that are trapped by the cults or the occultic practices. Help them to, to seek where they can find the help. Help, uh, help them to identify the problems. Help them to, to save their child from preventing them from being entrapped by the cults. Guide us, direct us, lead us. We ask these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you once again, Reverend Miller. Uh, thank you, for sir. For being on the program. Thank, thank you, sir.